everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to talk about SAP solution manager it is one of the most famous products of SAP and if you are part of the SAP ecosystem then you would have definitely come across solution manager in one way or the other so let's talk about what is the purpose of solution manager solution manager is an application lifecycle management software offered by SAP now you might ask, what is an application lifecycle management software? ALM software consists of tools and processes that help to manage the lifecycle of a software product from product design up until the end of its life. The lifecycle of a software product consists of different phases like requirements gathering, build, test, deploy and operate. So an ALM software provides us with tools that can help us manage all these different phases of a software product. In other words, it can be called as the software that is used to manage the development and operation of other software. When it comes to SAP Solution Manager, it can be used for the purpose of managing both SAP and non-SAP applications. Now let's take a quick look at the history of Solution Manager. SAP Solution Manager has been there for a long time. Its first version was called Solution Manager 2.1, which was introduced about 20 years back in 2001. Since then, the versions have evolved to 2.2, to 3.1, 3.2, so on and so forth. And the latest and most advanced version is called Solution Manager 7.2, which was released back in 2016. Initial versions of Solution Manager was only able to perform some basic system monitoring functions. But the latest Solution Manager has come a long way since then. And now it can run on the HANA database. It has got Fury as the user experience. And it is packed with functionalities that can be used to manage both technical and business process related operations of SAP applications. Another interesting aspect of Solution Manager is that customers do not have to purchase licenses in order to use Solution Manager. If you want to use any SAP software, obviously you need to purchase licenses. But the usage rates for Solution Manager are included within the SAP support contract itself. So as far as a customer is subscribed to SAP support, they can use Solution Manager. But the type of functionalities they can use within the Solution Manager might vary depending on the type of support a customer has got. Because SAP offers different types of support like standard support, enterprise support, product support for large enterprises, enterprise support cloud edition. So the type of functionalities you may be eligible to use within Solution Manager depends on the type of support your organization has got. If you would like to learn more about what you can use and not use within Solution Manager, then please check out my blog. It has got a link to a web page that provides more information about Solution Manager's usage rights. I have provided the link to my blog in the video description below. Anyway, getting back into the topic. Once Solution Manager was so famous that it was the second most installed SAP product in the world after SAP ECC. But at the same time, the utilization rate of the product has always been less than what SAP has hoped for. Utilization rate means the amount or number of functionalities in the solution manager that is used by the customers. Because just installing the software is different from using it to its full potential. It's like buying a Ferrari car but just using it to get some groceries down the road. While there is nothing wrong with that, but Ferrari car is not built for that purpose. Anyway, there are a few reasons why the utilization rate of the solution manager among customers is pretty low, which we will discuss in part two of this video. Now let's talk about the core functionality or the main purpose of solution manager. A lot of customers use Solution Manager only for one purpose, which is to send data about their SAP landscape to SAP. 
That's what this picture represents. I have also created another picture that shows the same concept in a different way so that it is easy to explain what it means to send data to SAP. As you can see in this picture, an organization's SAP landscape might look like the one on the left hand side. It might contain SAP systems like S4 HANA or ECC, BW, CRM, including cloud products like SuccessFactors and Ariba, for example. Now, they are all connected to Solution Manager, which is also part of their SAP landscape. The Solution Manager then collects information about these SAP systems. The information it collects or the type of information it collects could be about a lot of things. For example, it can be about uh, license conception, functionalities that are used by the customer in these different systems, technical performance indicators, and as well as business process performance, indi performance indicators. There is a batch job or also known as background job that runs in the solution manager on a frequent basis which collects all this information and also sends those information back to SAP. On SAP side, then these information are stored in respective customer profiles. Each customer has a separate file in the customer profile which is separated or identified using individual customer numbers. So say for example, you log into a tool like Early Watch Alert Workspace, like this one here. You typically use your Yes User ID to log into the Early Watch Alert Workspace. Your Yes User ID is linked to the customer number of your organization that you work for. So based on that customer number, it pulls the correct information about your SAP landscape from the customer profile automatically. So this is one of the core functionalities of SAP Solution Manager or this is how it is used by most of the customers. Now without this setup, customers won't be able to send information about their SAP systems to SAP, which means they won't be able to use tools like Maintenance Planner, Early Virtual Light Workspace or use the support portal to raise incidents. Now let's talk about uh, Maintenance Planner for example. Maintenance Planner is a tool that must be used by customers if they would like to perform upgrades on their SAP system. So without the Solution Manager sending data to SAP, the Maintenance Planner won't work properly, which means they won't be able to perform any upgrades on their SAP systems. Hope this was clear. If not, please let me know in the comments below and I will try to resolve your doubts as much as possible. Apart from this core functionality, there are so many other functionalities available in Solution Manager. These can be uh, called tools or functions or functionalities or features, but the idea is all the same. For the sake of consistency, let's call them as functionalities in this video. The different types of functionalities available in Solution Manager are application operations, business process operations, data volume management, change control management, custom code management, IT service management, process management, project management, test suite, focused build and focused insights. I'm going to talk about these tools in part two of this video. So please check out that video if you are interested in learning more about solution manager functionalities and also about the advantages of solution manager and some of the challenges of using Solution Manager. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon in part 2 of this video series.